today on Florida Sport Fishing. He's got one hook in him. Got, got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Yeah, you're right there, baby. That's what wahoo fishing is all about. High speed. We're on bing, here. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Trolling along offshore looking for some additional action. And boy, did we find it. We're out here now at about 800 to 1,000 feet doing a little bit of deep dropping. And that's a member of the scorpion fish family. Ho, ho, what on? CB Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. There's a sailfish, already got a bite. Ridiculous. Another one on, another one really? on. <laughs> Woo! Nice, that's what it's all about right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that, look at that. Florida Sport Fishing utilizes and proudly endorses Ghost, the global leader in boat security, monitoring, tracking, and surveillance. VMC, tired of missed strikes? Fish the hooks the pros fish. Fish VMC. Fortress, the world's best anchor. Stronger, faster, lighter. Motor Guide, the most dependable trolling motors on the water. And Stingray Tackle, shop where the pros shop. Shop at StingrayTackle.com. Oh, that's a good fish, man. Nice. That is a nice. good fish. Dude, he crushed that he bonita, dude. He crushed it. it. He smoked that it. That had to have been 100, 150 yards on that run. I don't know. He's, he's still wanting to go, yeah, though, he's man. He's still going, dude. He's keeping us tight, for sure. Right. We're out here doing a little bit of trolling. We started today right at dawn here, high-speed wahoo fishing. And I'll tell you what, we just got crushed. Did you grab it out of the rod holder there? That fish smoked at least 150 yards of line. I'm going to back off a little more. Let me get that other line up. Dude, that's a good fish right there. Oh, he yeah. just crushed it. <laughs> that's that's why you come out here, just for the bite, man. That's it, dude. Those I mean, the wahoo fish is bites, a bonus, but... <laughs> yeah. Oh, those wahoo bites when you're high speed trolling at 15 knots are just absolutely incredible. What we're doing here is we're keeping the boat moving forward. I'm just getting this other bait up and out of the way so we can focus on that fish. You know, these wahoo are notorious for shaking the hook. So we like to keep the boat in gear to just keep that line as tight as possible. We don't want any slack whatsoever. These fish are also notorious for screaming right at the boat at 30, 40, 50 miles an hour. And again, you know, you've got to keep that line as tight as possible to stay on these fish. Wahoo fishing is so exciting. You know, this high speed trolling, you come out early in the morning at dawn, you're flying through the water, pulling baits at 15, 16 knots. But I'll tell you, when you get crushed, it is just absolutely exciting. We're at about 150 feet of water, right outside of Boca Inlet. This whole stretch here, really from about Hillsborough Inlet all the way up to Boynton, Lake Worth, Palm Beach, is just a Wahoo Highway, baby. We're on the downside of the full moon, and it's just a, a key time, a, really a key period to catch these fish. Well, we've been seeing a lot of bait too. Those yep. little black fin and Those bonitas. Those little black fins and bonitas, and yeah. that's what they're feeding on. These wahoo, yeah. they need a big bait. You know, they like that big, big bait. Here she is. My first Mercury. Verado, outstanding corrosion protection, proven reliability. And it comes with all this. Say hi to Wendy from customer support. She's always there to help. Jerry from product testing. He dishes out the torture. They can take it. Good. And Tim from design, he never misses a detail. Obsessed with quality. Bobby, prop engineer, he turns horsepower into performance. This is George. From it's good to have Mercury behind you. Meet the rest of the team at mercurymarine.com. You're going to need a bigger boat. The secret's out. Start with brine and bite. The only brine that infuses proven bite stimulants into any rigged bait. Procure badass bait dyes are next. And bring Ballyhoo to life with vibrant fluorescent colors. Seal the deal with Procure's new Bloody Tuna Oil and watch your catch ratio soar. Inshore and offshore, Procure Bait Sense and Badass Bait Dyes keep you hooked up. Find Procure at your favorite dealer or call 800-PROCURE for a free catalog. Looking for an elegant showpiece for your home, business, or yacht? Crystal Glass Company creates exquisite fine art glass for homes, restaurants, and luxury yachts. Dazzle guests with incomparable quality and detail, etched, carved, or painted on glass or mirror. Add LED lights for a stunning result. 
Design a custom piece to commemorate a trophy catch or let our artist handcraft a piece of fine art glass just for you. Visit crystalglasscompany.com and prepare to be inspired. Chaos is tragic. Chaos can be awesome. Yo, another one on, another oh! one on. Three on, baby. <laughs> With Chaos Fishing, it's your rod your way. Quality components and personalized service from a legendary builder equal the right rod at the right price every time. Shop online for a complete selection of serious fishing equipment. Or visit Chaos's new superstore and receive a free t-shirt with every rod purchase. Chaos Fishing Gear Matters. Oh, uh oh, a little head shaking? Yeah. A little head shaking. Oh, you're getting in line, you're getting there. Doesn't always work out as expected when you come out here high speed trolling. You know, we all know the Bahamas is, of course, key for Wahoo fishing. And here it's a little less consistent, but still the opportunities exist. You just got to put in the time. He's right here. Okay. Yeah. It's not that big. He's all right. Yeah, it's oh, a Wahoo. Nice fish. Nice fish, dude. Easy, easy. He's got one hook in him. Got, got him, him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Bring him in. Watch it. Yeah. Yeah, right there, baby. Oh, and he spit the hook right there. Oh, nice. That's what it's all about right there, baby. That's what Wahoo fishing is all about. High speeding. When you catch a fish like that, he just had that one hook in the corner yeah. of the mouth, dude. I saw him. I'm like, I've got to take that shot right now. Look at the lure, Mike. Check this out, dude. He broke it in half when he hit it. Broke the lure in half. Holy cow, dude. Ripped it in half. That is dude, crazy. I've never seen that before. colors on him. That's insane. Stripes, the pattern. Oh. Like he wanted it. <laughs> these things oh, are just absolute wow. cheetahs. That's what these things are, cheetahs of the sea. Watch it. He's going to bite you yeah. still. <laughs> Look at that. Dude, that's a good 30-pounder. Yeah, that's a good one. Dude, nice job. This is a nice fish right here. I mean, he's not huge, but he's a solid 30 pounds. Crush the bait. Pulling a couple of Yozuri Bonitas right outside of Boca here, about 150, 155 feet of water. And I'll tell you what, this high speed fishing is just so exciting. And I think it's really all about that strike. You know, these fish are hitting these baits with such ferocity, they'll dump 100, 150 yards of line on their first run. They're so fast, so sleek. I mean, if you can see the way this thing is built, it's literally built like a missile. It just races through the water, razor sharp teeth, eating bonita, black fins, king mackerel, Spanish mackerel. Well, I'll tell you what, Wahoo will eat pretty much anything that they want to eat. That's for sure. And as I mentioned earlier, you know, certainly you can run across a stream to the Bahamas, West End, Bimini. There's some phenomenal, phenomenal wintertime Wahoo fishing on the other side of the Gulf Stream. But if you put in your time here along the coast, you're gonna catch them. You're not gonna catch 10. You're not, you know, you're not gonna have double digit days, but certainly you'll catch some quality fish. That's for sure. The key is really getting out early in the morning. That's when these fish are really active is at dawn. So you wanna get out early in the morning. We had baits in the water before the sun was even coming up over the horizon. That's when they're gonna come in on the edge and feed. Outgoing tides, absolutely awesome. What's happening is all of that bait is being flushed off that reef line on the outgoing tide. And these killers right here will just cruise right up and down the edge, just waiting to pick off anything they can catch. You know, it's really exciting. The moon, that certainly plays a role. We're on the downside of the full moon. But I'll tell you what, oh, there's some bait busting right out there, Carlos. See it right up on top, black fins. You know, that's key right there. As I mentioned, perfect scenario. Outgoing tide right off the beach here early in the morning. We've got the bait busting offshore, and that was a result right there. Nice 30 pound Wahoo. Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, makers of the finest monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. 
Hey guys, welcome to this episode's Rigney Station. Wanted to take a minute real quick and talk to you a little bit more about the tackle that we were fishing today while we were high speed Wahoo trolling. For starters, we're fishing a pair of Alu Technos 30 wide two speed reels. They're just absolutely awesome, super smooth drag system and that's what's really, really important. We've got our reels matched to custom chaos 50 to 100 pound class tuna buster rods, bent butt rods, which really make high speed trolling a lot easier, especially with the roller guides to reduce the friction on your line. We've got our outfits loaded with fresh 50 pound diamond high catch mono in the high vis color. That high vis really makes it easy to track your lures way behind the bow. Terminal tackle is really simple. We've got our main line doubled up. We've got a, about a six foot section of double line and we've got that double line tied to a 200 pound heavy duty ball bearing snap swivel. From there, we're just fishing some Yozuri Bonitas. Certainly you can go out here and fish some trolling leads and some Islander uh, combos, you know, that's really effective. However, today, a couple of Yozuri Bonitas is all that we needed to get hooked up. What's really important is about 30 inches of multi-strand cable, 300 pound test cable. These Wahoo hit these lures with ferocity and if you don't have cable, you're gonna get cut off. If you can go out there and fish four rods, great, but you don't have to. You can pull two rods, two baits, Pull them fast, 15, 16 knots, and you're gonna get hooked up. High performance hulls designed for speed, comfort, and durability. Custom features and accessories designed for every taste. A brilliantly engineered machine designed to catch more fish. Presenting the remarkable lineup from CB Bites. Secure any size boat simply and safely with a self-adjusting tide slide mooring system. Tide Slide's vertical movement absorbs any motion and allows your boat to be securely held in place while the wind, waves, and tide do their thing. Easy to install, maintenance-free, and hurricane-proven. Take the guesswork out of conventional tie-ups and eliminate slack lines forever. Tide Slide, safe, simple, and secure. Tired of empty coolers? Book an overnight trip aboard the 100-foot Yankee Captains to the world-famous Dry Tortugas and catch trophy snapper, grouper, king mackerel, and more. Fishing these rich waters for 25 years, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or relax on the spacious upper deck. With full galley and huge fish boxes, the only thing you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West, Florida, year-round. Introducing Sea Deck, a shock absorbent, non skid material manufactured from UV protected foam specifically formulated for marine applications. Sea Deck's comfortable and durable surface protects your deck, reduces noise, and improves the look and value of any boat. Available in a range of colors, Sea Deck is fully customizable and easy to apply with a marine grade peel and stick adhesive. Visit SeaDeck.com for a complete line of retail products. Surprisingly affordable, incredibly versatile. So it's about nine o'clock here. It looks like the Wahoo bites over. I mean, it's really an early morning thing, you know, unless you've got some really low light conditions an overcast, cloudy, rainy day, you know, then you can keep at it. But I think with clear conditions by 8.30, 9 a.m., if you haven't found a Wahoo, you're not gonna find them. So we're gonna switch it up, put on some feathers, some smaller little chuggers, run offshore, see if we can find some debris, some dolphin, who knows, maybe some blackfin and skipjack tuna. Just see if we can mix it up a little bit and find some action. So stick around. Let's see if we get hooked up. We just got blasted here. We got four fish on at one time. Key is just working together. We're keeping the boat moving forward here, keeping all the lines out. Very likely skipjacks or a little football blackfin tuna, but it's all right. We'll take them. Skipjack. Skipjacks. Yep. Nice. Yeah, dude. Nice. That's what we're looking for. You know, it's so cool just catching these on little feathers and small little chuggers. And you get four rods going off oh, at one dude. time? Are you kidding me? That's not exciting. I don't know <laughs> what it is. <laughs> yep, another skippy. Come on in here, you. All right. Right there. You can see the difference between the skipjacks and the bonitas. The skippies have those beautiful horizontal stripes like that. And they just ate that little Williamson feather, look at that. 
awesome. These are really good eating. You can make tuna salad out of them. Grilled are really good. What kind of tuna is that that you it's find a in the- skipjack. Yeah, this I know, is, but in the, in the grocery store. Yeah, when you buy a can of tuna from the grocery store, you've got one of two options. The can will either say solid white tuna, and that's true albacore. That's a long fin tuna. And if the can says chunk light tuna, very likely it's a skipjack. Very likely. They swim side by side with yellow fins. It's a really sustainable fishery. And probably the, I would say 75% of all canned tuna is skipjack tuna. Let's leave those on the deck. Let's get the spread set, see if we can connect again. Gear Guide, presented by Pelagic High Performance Offshore Gear, official apparel of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Hey guys, welcome to this episode's Gear Guide. We all know space on a boat is at an absolute premium, regardless of the type or the style boat that you have. I'm here with Barry Burhoff from Surehold Products. Surehold for over 40 years has been making high quality boat, RV, and automotive cleaning products, and they've recently come out with a one-handle does-it-all system that's absolutely essential for every boater and angler. Barry, tell us a little bit more about how this system works. Sure, Mike, happy to. The heart of the system, like you said, it's one handle does it all. So picking the right handle for your boat is the beginning. So whether you need a longer handle or a shorter handle, fixed length or telescoping, or even if you want to upgrade to one like you got there that's got the beautiful fishing wrap on it to match your fishing rods, you get your handle and then all the attachments fit the same way to all of the handles and they quickly and easily just snap lock on. And we've got brushes and boat hooks and nets and gaffs and anything you could think of. And we even just came out with this great new attachment. This is a camera adapter for your GoPro style camera. Quickly and easily snaps on and off to your handle. And we have some beautiful footage we took the other day of catching a Wahoo, bringing it right up to the boat. We just got this in the water and it's just spectacular. Awesome, we all know how popular GoPros are. I'll tell you, as you mentioned, Barry, there's over 40 or 50 different style heads, everything from mops and deck brushes, squeegees, gaffs, a variety of different nets, boat hooks, anything you need is available. And the one thing you can rest assured from Surehold, these guys have been making this stuff for over 40 years. It's all high quality, it's gonna last you forever. With this one handle does it all system, you're gonna save space, you're gonna save time, and most most importantly, you're gonna save money. So what we're doing is we've got set up an eight rod spread. You know, fortunately on this CV, on this 39, we've got plenty of rod holders, we've got a big wide beam, and we can easily fish eight rods, just the two of us. Off of our outriggers, we've got some daisy chains, fishing way in the back here, some Williamson chuggers. Moving back, We've got some lighter outfits, again, with some smaller daisy chains, smaller feathers. And what we're doing is mimicking both sides. That side of the boat, the port side of the boat is exactly the same as the starboard side. So we've got a really nice uniform spread. That takes care of six rods that are fished right up on top. We've got a seventh rod in the shotgun position, way, way back behind the boat. That's just like a, a trailing lure. It's another Williamson chugger a sailfish catcher, it's way back there and that thing gets crushed more often than anything else. And then finally for our eighth rod, we've got a deep bait. We've got a Rapala x wrap right in the wash, deep below the surface. So this way we've got almost a three-dimensional presentation. Baits up on top and also baits well below the surface. It's a killer spread, it's easy, doesn't require any natural bait and you'll catch everything on this spread. The wahoo, the sailfish, the dolphin, tuna species, everything will crush these baits. So you don't have to fish eight rods. If you can only fish four or six, that's perfectly fine. But just make sure everything is rigged right, everything's positioned right. You know, you want to be able to maximize on every bite. Dude, we were due for a bite. Oh I mean, my God. <laughs> we've gone, honestly, a couple hours without a bite, truth be told. Right. Weather completely changed, so we were certainly due for a bite. And you know what? It's that shotgun bait again. Yep. It's weird that we hooked that first one in like that green water, yep. and now here it's, you know, that Beautiful prettier blue. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hopefully with these overcast conditions and these fronts coming through, these fish will finally turn, turn on. on. Yeah. You know, we're in the midday period here. It's been slow, that's for sure, for the last couple hours, but... What do you got there? 
Looking like the wiggly tail kind. Yep, little skipjack. It's all right. Right, we're looking for it. There we go. Another one. Awesome. Yeah, dude, little five to eight pounders, little footballs. I can't get over that beautiful purple iridescent on their back. Can you see that there? Gnarly. Uh oh. Yeah, he's gonna nope. give you Doing the shakes. Doing a wiggle. I'll give you the shakes. Come on, calm down, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to get hooked up? Whoa! Florida Sport Fishing is the number one resource for the latest tips, tricks, tactics, and techniques for inshore and offshore. Each issue is jam-packed with useful articles, easy to follow illustrations, and award-winning photography. Only $30 for two years. For immediate home delivery, visit floridasportfishing.com slash TV. Subscribe today and receive a free shirt and Florida Sport Fishing Who Rag. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MMT chart plotter, Navnet TZ Touch. When you want the perfect one-step detailer for your boat, car, RV, or the house, you want Serious Shine from Surehold Industries. Serious Shine seriously cleans, polishes, and protects vinyl seating, isinglass, fiberglass surfaces, electronics, glass and mirrors, even your car's clear coat, all in just one step. Simply spray it on, wipe it off, and it will seriously shine. Guaranteed. Serious Shine, another answer from Surehold Industries. Clean and simple solutions for detailing all your toys. So, you're looking for a place to go on vacation, where the water is warm, and the nights are hot. A place to remember. A place to get lost. Or blend in with the crowd. A place that defines your individuality. A place to test your skill at something new. A place that feels like home away from home. Visit Jacksonville, Florida. Florida Sport Fishing has been proudly presented by Hooker Electric, the ultimate fishing reel. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer has the right trailer at the right price. Fishity, the maps to plan, the tools to catch, the option to brag. Ocean LED, the only choice in underwater lighting. And Frigid Rigid, from 35 to 300 quarts, the finest coolers and freezers on the water. Hey guys, welcome back to Florida Sport Fishing TV. We're out here now at about 800 to 1,000 feet doing a little bit of deep dropping. We've had an action-packed day. We started off the morning bright and early, high-speed trolling for Wahoo, caught a nice fish. Transition to a little bit of uh, trolling for skipjacks and a little bullet black fins just to bend some rods. But I'll tell you, we've had a, a mix of weather, a mix of conditions, and I wanted to finish off the day doing something else. So I ran out here to a little bit deeper water. And like I said, we're just doing a little bit of deep dropping for some black belly rosefish, some scorpion fish. They're not huge, but what they lack in size, they certainly make up for in quantity. Because once you get on top of them, usually you can wreck them. So stick around, let's see if we can put a few more fish in the boat. And if that isn't the wildest looking fish you've ever seen, bright orange, wicked little spikes on them, beautiful bright yellow eye, a little bit of venom in their spines right there, so you don't want to get stuck with that, but certainly nothing too drastic. You get little fillets off of them, little flaky white meat fillets, and they're just such a cool fish. The rig is pretty simple. Again, just that three pound sash weight, two hook rig. And I like to tie my own rigs with VMC hooks, 150 pound diamond high catch, extra hard monofilament leader. I just put a little sleeve on there like that and that keeps that leader out of way. Put a little glow bead just for a little extra something something. Crimp connections, a couple feet up the line is another one. Same exact thing, just a little leader sleeve. 
Little three-way swivel type of leader sleeve, another hook. And I always add a little light, little LP, Duraloom, little strobe. You know what they say, no light, no bite when it comes to deep dropping. And it's that simple. A two or three hook rig, squid from bionic bait, find the structure, drop it down, and catch fish after fish. Oh, we got a little more weight on this one. You got oh, it, wow. baby. One. There's something here. Two. Definitely something down there. Three. <laughs> you got a triple adder, dude. You got a trio going? You got three. Oh, I got the trio. Look nice. I told you, when you find them, baby, you find them. I don't know, deep dropping, I don't know if it can get much better than this. Three hooks, three fish. There you go, nice. That's pretty Those sick. Those things are so awesome looking. Yeah. And the black mouth. That's probably one of the coolest things about this fish. Look at the pouch. This one's got a little pouch. That's a good one. Nothing wrong with that one. Don't you worry, I'll get that squid out. Look at that, he sucked down the whole squid. That was a whole squid in this fish's mouth. Think they got a big mouth and a big appetite? <laughs> you would too if it's 800 feet down. Got a couple coming, they're almost up. There they are, there they are. These things are so fun. Let me get these guys up. Get closer, look, get over here, you guys. There we go. I told you, when you get on them, you get on them. All right. Hey, well, I'll tell you what. We had an awesome action-packed day. Just mixed it up today, a whole bunch of variety. Started off the day wahoo fishing. Trolled around for some skippies, bent some rods for a little while, and then came out here to the deep to do a little bit of deep dropping for some black belly rose fish and scorpions. And I'll tell you what, we found them. Only in South Florida can you have this kind of variety. Hey, remember, to win one of the rods seen on today's episode, like us on Facebook. We'll see you next week. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show, and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, Visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.